What a surprise, the red bitch is at it again, just kicking the shield hero down. So what's up guys, Fox in here. In last episode, he had that cliffhanger, an assassination attempt on the grape flavored Melty. And who would have thunk it? Who exactly set this plan into motion? By the way, do be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my weekly anime videos. It'll definitely give Raptalia a power boost. So let's get started. So you have the soldiers playing the hostage card. That is effing low. And are these guys really that stupid? Come on, none of them stand any chance. I mean, Raftalia could have soloed them no problem. But of course, these guys were really just playing their little stage play. Terrible actors too, by the way. Unfortunately, it looks like the two in the back were playing with their ball to record the whole thing. And God damn it for none of these guys realizing it. They should have smacked this guy's ass. But really, once again, did Nalfumi really just get set up again? How many times are they going to keep on doing this? At least the only bright side to the situation is that the shield hero isn't starting at point zero this time around. Really quickly, let me actually touch on the new opening. So you have the anime staple with the rain in the new opening. Lovely shot of best raccoon girl Raftalia too. Very nice and wet. In the intro, you do have some red-headed warriors. I'm really hoping that they're not related to the red bitch. At least not as allies. Then, my favorite shot is definitely all of them standing together with Nalfumi, taking that meteor-looking blast of an impact. So yes, ah, uh, the daughter harem grows. It looks like the water-type Melty is fully on board the shield hero wagon here too. Overall, it looks like a lot of stuff is being set up here for the next half of the shield hero anime story. Even though I am anime only, I do know there's a ton of light novels left over. So hopefully, just like the slimy sekai, they'll announce shield hero season 2 soon after the season is done. Fingers crossed that comes out next year. But do let me know from you, how do you like the new opening? Is it better than the first one? Which one had the better song too? Post down below. But back to the anime, somewhere in the distance, man, these guys got some advanced special effects editing magic. I would kill for something like that. I mean, from the blood spray to making them look demonic, not to mention just them looking like they're having the time of their life. But come on, really? You even have them showing this movie theater display ever freaking where? Just when Naofumi was being seen as this isekai Jesus, I guess he didn't really like the title anyhow. Something I am wondering is, how will this affect Naofumi's merchant connections? Are those guys so easily swayed over? Or will money and potential connections shine even brighter? That'll be interesting to see. You even had these wanted posters. Really reminded me of what the scouts went through in Attack on Titan Season 3. Poor Raftalia too, she's not ugly like that. Spot on for the KFC girl and Naofumi though. But come on, really, doesn't Melty have any authority or power at all? I almost want to say useless, although that does make me think of some other certain water type. As for that soldier dude that got captured, they should have beat his ass to get more information out of him. How about threatening to feed him to the giant hen? It worked for the bandit guys. As for Melty here, this girl is so stuck up on staking up for the asshole of a King Papa. To be honest, Melty right here was really annoying me. I mean, how old is Melty? You somehow want Nalfumi to understand you, but you're not exactly giving him anything to work with. Words, little purple girl, use them. Just say something useful that'll help out your case. Either way, perfect time to ditch this dumpster of a place. Go head out to that shield hero loving country, shield freedom or something like that, and level up Raftalia too. Although, looks like I thought wrong. Nalfumi instead wants to go to that silverette place, or something like that. He did mention the kingdom is so desperate to stop him from going there. Do they really only want to prevent our group from getting stronger? I guess also taking out Melty too. At this point, it really just seems like a lost, stupid cause. Next up, finally Melty and Nalfumi getting a chance to talk. To be fair to me, I guess I assumed that she knew what the bastard of a king did to the shoot hero. Surely the queen knew. So why didn't Melty get informed about this? Just gotta make things harder, I suppose. Either way, some juicy reveal dropped. That bastard king? That a-hole married into royalty. Oh my god. Now for me, you better bring that up next time you see him. Or should I say next time you're sticking your shield up his ass. Also right here, just reasserting the queen is a true one in power. So get your ass back to the throne. Anyway, up next, although the three heroes were the one helping to chase down now for me. Time for a beatdown for all of them. But come on, all of these guys can't be this stupid. They should have at least been able to see that Melty wasn't kidnapped at all. And to give Melty some credit, she almost got through to them. But as you know, that goddamn red bitch again. Really, girl? A brainwashing shield? You're not even funny at this point. Someone just burn her the hell up. If anything, this red bitch is the one brainwashing people left and right. I mean, just think about it. How many heroes is she banging in the background? I bet something else is burning from her. 
So let me know your thoughts on this red bitch versus down for me situation. Is this getting overplayed now? Or does she make the perfect disgusting villain? Just pause for a second and let me know down below. As for the escape, of course it would try to use Fila to get away. It's not like the heroes would just stand there and watch. Ironically, that dumbass spear hero could have gotten them all killed with that stunt he pulled. This guy even had the pedal balls to touch Philo. Ah. Oh, and how fitting, the red bitch is a fire type. I was so glad to see Raftalia put her down, but goddamn, she's still alive. And then KOC girl should have really smashed the spear guy in the balls with those one punch man gloves. In the end here, Nelfumi actually ended up believing in the boot like Kirito. Let's see if this guy actually pulls through. As for the Shadow Ninja appearing here, hey, thank you for not helping earlier, by the way. Oh, you want me to meet the queen who hasn't showed up? At least tell him where she's located. Although, I guess Melty knows. And then finally, the second princess and the shield hero actually getting closer together. Calling each other by Melty and now Fomi. Ah. So that's right, Melty just moved up a base past poor Raftalia. Better get to work. As for that cliffhanger with the red bitch burning everything up, I'm betting she's burning up some poor animals or demi-humans just to draw out the shield hero. Not a bad plan, I gotta admit. And then this episode, a new ending too. No surprise to see Raftalia getting a huge highlight. They definitely know what sounds. Not to mention best girl. Anyway, more important, let me hear from you. How do you like the new Shield Hero opening? Also the ending? Do you have a favorite part? And is it better than the first opening? Then for the actual events this episode, what do you think about the red bitch kicking down Naofumi again? Is this subplot being used way too much? I'm curious, so post down below. Anyway, be sure to smash that thumbs up and subscribe. Besides my weekly Shield Hero videos, don't miss out on my weekly Attack on Titan SAO and other juicy anime videos. SAO Season 3 did just end, so go ahead and check out my teaser on what's coming up next. Be sure to set up bell notifications, and I'll see you guys later.